Welcome to Point Blank, brought to you by Fitz Roofing. I'm Brandon Stranger, Sports Map Houston. That's Joel Blank of ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. You can hear him weekdays at noon here in Houston on the FM dial. Joel, welcome in. Uh, Rusty Harden held a press conference this week to address the FBI's involvement in the allegations against Deshaun Watson. He confirmed that the FBI is indeed investigating the matter, but as of this recording, there are no charges and we have to acknowledge there may never be. But Joel, just it's just worth mentioning that the FBI their involvement in this makes this scandal seem a little heavier, a little darker, maybe a little more real to observers, perhaps other teams. What does this do to you as far as the, what, in your opinion, what are the optics? How do the optics change in this now? Not that it changed, Brandon, but what it does is it dispels the national media that consistently and constantly wants to talk about trades being discussed for Deshaun Watson. This just establishes the fact that it is set in stone, that no one's going to be making a move uh, for Deshaun Watson this year or anytime soon. And the only way they would even consider it is if there was a contingency within the trade that says, if convicted, we would not have to give you as much or we would get back these picks. And I don't think the Texans are interested in that either because they're trying to maximize everything that they get back for their most valuable asset. And it's not even close when you look at the roster. They have to maximize what they get for Deshaun Watson because without him, there is no Houston Texans future in terms of getting picks or making moves that can bring you back the haul that he can bring back. If he's not going to be deposed until 2022, if this isn't going to be resolved until next season, then whether it's the NFL or the Texans, it's time to just make sure he stays out of the public eye, he stops drawing attention from this year's team, and everybody moves forward, at least in the short term, knowing this is where we stand. The X factor in all this is the commissioner's exempt list and what the league decides to do with that. I want to talk to you more about that. But before that, give us a word from Fitz Roofing. We love the people at Fitz Roofing. Look, they're dedicated to the people of Houston. And that's what you want when you're looking for someone to fix your roof or put a new roof on your business or your house. They do more than just roofing as well. They do home repairs. They do fences in the yard. But the one thing that they really do that everybody needs to be aware of is they do free, no obligation inspections. And it costs you absolutely nothing. All you do is call 832-521-3001. They come to you. They tell you what they can do and it costs you absolutely nothing have them come back and they do fantastic work before during and after the sale fits roofing making a difference one home at a time harden also said that deshaun watson has not spoken with the nfl as of yet and likely won't until the completion of a criminal investigation or after charges are filed if any um, what does this tell you about the likelihood or lack thereof that the nfl puts him on the commissioner's exempt list before the season I don't know, Brandon, because I think that he already should have done that. I, I keep referencing with you and on my show the fact that if they could take any notes from the way Major League Baseball handled the Trevor Bauer situation, he already should be on that list and he should stay on that list until there's resolution in all of these cases and investigations. And they haven't done that yet. So I don't know if it's everybody worried about who looks like the bad guy by being the one that tells him to stay home and stay away. But he's going to get paid regardless. So if the, you're the Texans, you know what? Suck it up, buttercup. It's a tough pill to swallow because it's financials but you're going to have to pay him and just send him home so he's not a distraction and if you won't do it the league should and somebody should just say hey until this is all figured out I don't want everybody in the media asking every player every day about Deshaun talk to him about who's next on the schedule what kind of roster battles there are position battles and where this team's going forward and how they're going to try and make strides that's the approach and more that the Texans and or the NFL need to take now as we know exactly where everything stands for for the next probably 12 months. The optics on this are bad, but the reality could be different. And we hear stats like the feds have a 98% conviction rate, but we saw Rusty Harden defend Roger Clemens in federal court and run circles around those prosecutors. So while the optics leading up to this and maybe the court of public opinion, their result may be different. The court results on this, if any charges are brought, could be very different. And would that make him in that situation uh, a much more valuable asset? Yeah, I think that it's going to come down to exactly that. I think that all it takes is one case to go against Deshaun and everything, all bets are off because the value goes way down. Um, the, the, the uncertainty goes way up. And the fact that he might be facing some kind of incarceration or penalty, regardless of what the NFL does, which means trades are off. So I think that we all have to play the waiting game as much as we don't want to. And we have to sort through and sift through the fact that no matter what anybody says could be going on, trade talks or otherwise, or playing or not playing, it doesn't matter because this isn't going to be solved in the short term. And therefore, we just need to let it all play out.